So what we are doing is a uh, reverse electroplating cell with sulfuric acid as my electrolyte. Um, the material running is gold plated pins. Um, gone through quite a bit. Total lot was about 41 pounds. Um, using a lab power supply, I mean a computer power supply uh, picked up from uh, one of my buyers um, for free. So if I burn it out, I got plenty. However, I'm running a uh, cathode on uh, the stainless steel bowl. It's within a strainer, and I got a pretty good sized doubled up piece of copper mesh as my anode. Strainers in between separates it, and I'm able to run the material. The reason for this video. Actually, it's a little quickie for uh, Rick Gibbs, member in the group I'm in. What I have here is material from a cell, concentrated sulfuric. And uh, the questions that have been coming to me lately is how to clean it up. And I promised a video on it. And what I do is I'll let this uh, acid settle for a few days you can already see the line on the top it's the uh, gold settling down it's patient game being patient is key um, once it uh, gets to settle for about three days say um, I can pour off the sulfuric acid um, there probably might be a little bit of gold in there just minute but you decan as careful and as much as you can before you start pulling gold into it and uh, and then what's left is reusable acid for your cell and what this material will do you'll you'll take it down and then I'll dilute it in water after that and I'll let it settle this is just to show but this was actually some rinse water that I'm just letting settle but this is what it would end up looking like you know, you decant it down, fill it up, and let it rest. Um, it helps separate even faster with the water versus the acid. The acid's pretty thick. But as you see, this material here is ready to uh, be processed. Um, there's many ways to do it. I've seen guys fill a beaker up with ice and pour the concentrated um, sludge and acid straight into it and dilute it that way. Um, considering I had to do so many uh, pounds of material, I didn't want so much waste. I didn't want to have to buy tons and tons of acid. Um, it's costed me approximately um, 40 bucks, 45 bucks in acid. Um, cell is just about done. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Give me a minute. Well, I can just do this one here. With the stir rod, sometimes give it a little bit of a give it a little bit of a play with it, just a tad. And you see them bubbles. There's still a little bit of stuff, a little bit of gold um, that needs to come off tend to do this a couple times take it out of the acid inspect it to make sure because I don't have any kind of uh, uh, voltage meters whatnot to uh, tell me what what kinds of uh, amps are going or not going through this to know when it's done it's kind of kind of a somewhat of a guessing game or experience game I've done a lot of material in cells like this um, it's a lot of work but uh, let me go ahead and uh, shut this down clean it up real quick get another one rolling um, here's my trash we'll load this up again and we'll get going all right so I just added a uh, another uh, amount of uh, pins 
tell that my cell is pretty saturated. I don't get quite as vigorous of a reaction going in here, but I know that it's still working. Um, the thing with these uh, stainless steel cells, um, this is my first time running one like this. I usually use glass Pyrex, but um, I noticed after a few pounds, if you will, the uh, or settling overnight and st such, the sludge gets pretty thick. Um, sometimes I'll stir it with this, this plastic spoon before I get going just to um, expose the, the cathode. I'm not sure if that's even doing anything, but it seems to be pretty thick with gold in it, and it disrupts and messes up the electron flow of of the currents and things of being able to uh, work properly. Uh, <clears throat> I know that uh, having a a negative that's grounded very good on your bowl is another key thing. Um, I have a little bolt right there, if you see. Um, I didn't. I tightened it down with a smaller wire, and I uh, ended up switching to a thicker, thicker wire and. Sometimes if you don't have a, a good contact, it'll, it'll act weird. It won't work properly the way you want. Um, another thing I noticed was my hot wire would get hot. I mean, I'd feel it hot up into here, and it made me think, I don't want to burn this out right away. So Jeff Massey talked to me. And uh, filled a container with salt water. Those are potassium salt tablets and whatnot, saturated solution. And these are both of my hot leads. One going to the power supply and one going to the uh, to the uh, cell. And uh, taking these copper pieces apart and bringing them close to each other, it'll fizz in the water and send the amperage, and you can control it. Um, control yourself from getting so many amps and getting so hot I found that running this long extra wire kind of helped it out also um, I haven't been getting hot hot wire lately so I haven't uh, worried about it you see the material in there still got a little bit getting every little bit of it sometimes the tricky part because it'll stop working and you'll pull it out and you'll see gold on your pin still um, kind of make you wonder if some of them were not gold plated considering the cell didn't strip them but uh, and all the rest are but it's just one of those things man be patient play with it you know, you get it, get your reaction going again. Get all that gold, man. Gotta get it all. Um, definitely look out for part two of this video because uh, I haven't figured out yet how to make long, long videos. I can only keep it around 15 minutes. I know I could, but I just get so busy that I don't uh, take the time to bother with it. But, uh, <clears throat> working inside of a fume hood um, this this cell tends to uh, kick off some gases that don't smell too good uh, if you do it indoors you know have ventilation definitely but it'll still kind of smell man it, it'll get on your clothes you'll go upstairs or inside wherever you're doing it and your, your kids your wife your friends they, they they're going to smell like sulfur on you. They're going to tell you you stink. <laughs> I like to do it in the fume hood because I'm indoors. Um, so definitely. Also, I uh, most of the time I'm running it with this door closed. Um, you never know, man. This is sulfuric acid. Um, it's nasty shit. Um, you don't want to run your cell hot. And if you do... The, the sulfuric acid will start to attack copper 
these pins are all copper. They're all copper based. Um, but when your cell gets hot, <clears throat> it will. Uh, when your cell gets hot, it'll definitely start eating up stuff that you don't want and things like that. As you can see, there's still like a couple pins. Might be the lighting, but I know there's a couple pins that just are not completely, completely stripped. There it goes. See that? Anyway, uh, back to the sulfuric, you know, this stuff, I, uh, I remember working on a cell one time and uh, had gloves, washing, wiping my hands frequently. I used the bonomy to neutralize any kind of burn I feel. I'm wearing short sleeves, which isn't the smartest thing, but, uh, you know, touch your arms on this bowl, on this uh, dish and stuff. You can, uh, you'll feel it when it get on you and I wipe it up real quick and neutralize it, but this stuff get on you and it's going to. It's gonna eat your clothes. It's gonna burn you. Um, I had some drip in my eye or splash in my eye one time. That shit didn't feel good. Uh, so PPE is definitely a no-brainer. And for me, I had to learn the hard way. I'm just thankful that uh, you know, it wasn't worse. Could have went blind. And, uh, but when uh running these cells I use concentrated sulfuric um, it's what you need and uh, you use diluted sulfuric it's gonna attack the metals um, worse so I'm gonna use concentrated sulfuric drain cleaner it's got buffers in it but uh, it worked good considering it's concentrated sulfuric you definitely need to be very 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 careful for water I've seen guys run cells with ice in them and stuff like that. Um, me, <laughs> I, I'm patient. Uh, it gets warm. I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut this down. Uh, let it cool off. Take an hour or two to cool off and you can start it again. <clears throat> but with that water, be careful because water going there, it's like when it's hot and Stuff like that is like uh, it's like putting water in a hot grease pan. It'll it'll react and it'll get hot and it'll mess you up. It'll splash and splatter and things like that. So uh, like I said, man, uh, look on the be on the lookout for this part two video. I'm gonna definitely finish this one up. It's at about the time limit, and uh, I will. Uh, come back on the video with a uh, with the refining of this right here and uh, show you guys how we do it so uh, back to work man check it out like subscribe and uh, let's get this gold